Welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. I swear, every time I sit down in front of this camera, I feel like it's been forever since I sat down in front of this camera. Wait a minute. Ah, that's better. I was like, wait a minute. Something's missing on my sweater. Ah, um, yes. So, welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. Today's video is going to be a little treat because I have a haul. Yes, I have a fall haul. It's a little bitty one. It's not a lot. You guys know I don't be out in the street shopping like that because I can't. But if I could, I would. Probably not. I don't know. But I have a little small haul. Some things I've been collecting over the past week and something I've been holding on to for like a month. Uh -huh, because I knew I had, I wanted to do a haul. I just, enough said, I'm going to get into it. So it is fall. We are deep into fall. We are midway through October. We are in fall. Like you cannot deny that it's fall you you can't deny the fact that it's fall you cannot deny the fact that it is chilly outside you cannot deny the fact that you have to wear your sweaters now yesterday when i was up around chicago i seen people with coats on i was looking at them like did i miss a memo it's not that cold but you need a sweater i like jacket preferred anywho so i'm gonna jump right into it i'm gonna start off one of my favorite thing that I got in this all the the creme de la creme the 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 the, the Eiffel Tower at the top the cherry on top of the delicious cake I literally a cherry I am so excited I've talked about this item for years now I talked about it in my fall um, new arrivals trending video it is. Haven't worn it yet. I opened up the package, let it out the bag, screamed. It is the leather moto jacket from Bella Queen. <laughs> oh my god, I got it. I got it. When I told you I was gonna get it, I was gonna get it. I got it. I got it. Cause they had it. I got it. They was it was on sale. Uh-huh. And I used a little, uh, that little app firm, that little app firm, you know, I pay in installments. Look at it, guys! Look at it to all the OG stylists. You guys know, I've talked about this leather jacket in my haul, new arrivals, haul shopping wish list, whatever I want to call it, the day I upload. I've been talking about this leather jacket for the past two years. They have brought it back two years in a row i talked about it last year i think i talked about the year before but i definitely talked about last year and this year and this year they brought back like three new colors they brought back uh, a teal a pink and an orange with this red this red i had to do it for the red because one full start in color is red okay two red is my new power color i've me and red getting our life and three look at the red talk about this all day but I'm not because I have other things to do and talk about but <laughs> I got looks playing already like look I already have looks playing like I'm not even kidding I have looks planned like they're already there and I'm <sighs> it's a little tight on the arms on the upper arms but it's not it's not so tight that I can't wear like a long sleeve shirt but I probably won't be wearing no heavy sweaters underneath this because it's a little a little tight and the sweater's just a little too thick but Woo! 
some more fall trendy stuff that we talked about and that is animal print and I picked up this animal print from Lane Bryant when I did my um my fitting room diary video and it is not on the bag I think this is just like their pullover pull on maxi skirts it has a split down here so if your girl is going showing legs I'm definitely seeing this dress down with a sweater or a tee um and some sneakers I see this dressed up with like my leather jacket and some moto boots <laughs> body whoa no problems i'm getting into animal print i'm getting there i'm gonna get that i'm not gonna go full out i'm not gonna animal print everything because it is a trend it always comes back you do not have to actually buy um any animal print because if you go to the thrift store it's everywhere it's it's everywhere it comes back every year speaking of animal print I got this zebra looking also a skirt from where did I get this from a thrift store maybe like a month and a half ago I've been holding on this for a while um and this is an old Lane Bryant skirt like I said it also has a split but the split is in the back but I definitely wear the split towards the front because you want to show some girls some legs you guys seen this in my fall lookbook that i uploaded last week um love this definitely can dress this up dress this down you see me you see how i styled it dressing up this i mean like i said this is i got this from the thrift store it's from lay Bryant. you don't have to buy new animal prints but while we're on lay Bryant, i'm going to show you guys the dress Yes, this is that striped, colorful dress that I got from um, Lane Bryant. Again, when I went through to my, um, what am I trying to say? The Fit Rooms Diary video. I tried this on, I left without it, I immediately regretted it, and I went online, and I ordered it. Because I was like, wait a minute, did I just really walk out that store without this? Mm-mm, mm-mm. It was so cute. I'm going to, of course, post a video of me try, of me having it on so you guys can see how it looks. This, I want to, this not sold out. It's on sale online and although it is full, win full, full winter, it is full fall, I'm definitely still going to wear this. I could put a long sleeve shirt underneath this, even like a mock turtleneck and some tights and some boots. And I could definitely still wear this and then bring it right back out in the spring. Next up from Lane Bryant are there are these jeans. These are their curvy fit um flex magic waistband jeans. I need a new pair of jeans. I feel like every fall um winter I need to start bringing out my jeans. I really don't wear jeans like that in the spring and the summer, especially in the summer because it's too hot. It's too hot. Um I also got a pair of leggings from Tori, but they're leggings. I'm not going to, you know, they basic leggings from Tori. We know what they look like. We've seen them. So, but again, in the fall, I'm bringing out my leggings, I'm bringing out my jeans, because I cannot wear them in the summer. In the summer, if I'm wearing pants, I want them flowy, loose, um, flowy, loose pants, but I definitely got these jeans. I really do like these. They are a little short on me. I believe I showed these in my Fit Room Diary video as well. They're a little short on me, but I'm thinking I could just cuff them for the boots that I wear that I got little booties. And then I could definitely, they could just go into like my high boots, my boots that's a little bit more tall. But yes, and I do like the waistband. The waistband is nice. It don't sit all the way up on the butt, but it is nice. And I got these in a size 28. These are very comfy. I was in there twerking and squatting and the booty was happy to satisfy my thighs. I only thing is I wish they came in like short tall regular cuts as far as inseam and length because i would have definitely got a tall because i need that extra room at the leg because my butts but it's like i said there's no problem for me to just cuff these and keep it moving okay so up from the thrift store i got this um men's khaki shirt that i wear like a jacket i've already worn this several times i've already have it decked out with my buttons i play no games i cuff up the um arms and i just throw this over like a t and some jeans or t and some shorts love this so it's just like a heavy green khaki man's shirts love thrifting at the thrift store for men's clothing men's shirts men's blazers jackets 
speaking of a man's shirt, I also got this um, men's button up in this um, peachy salmon. No, nah, not salmon. More like peachy little orange pinstripe. I love this because of the color, because of the stripes, as well as because of the large cuffs. I love man's shirts with the large cuffs because I actually made me some cufflinks and I can actually cuff these and I have link I will leave a link of how I made um my cufflinks and my collar clips that I wear sometimes I can actually cuff these and wear them like they're supposed to or I could just wear them all loose and big and just ugh I've already worn this uh because I'm obsessed and I needed it but yeah it's just a men's button up I feel like you can never get enough of men's button ups I also got some comeback boots from DSW, but they have not arrived yet, so can't show you guys. But I did want to show you guys this little extra thing. So my mom got me a gift from Sephora, and you guys haven't heard about this, you're going to flip. So this is Bum Bum Cream. I don't know if you guys have been on Instagram, especially a few years ago, Bum Bum Cream was really popular, really hit, everybody was wearing it, but it still is beloved, and each holiday season they come out with these little collective sets um where you can get a bunch of their products um together for a cheaper price if you would buy it all by itself because the huge size of this product is 45 dollars, and this was like 55 dollars. so basically oops, here you go yes i hope that's not causing a glare Oh, it is. My bad. Okay. Oop. So, it comes with Bum Bum Cream. The Bum Bum Cream, which is this. This big thing is $45. And you get this whole thing for $55. So, of course, it comes with the Bum Bum Cream, which is, smells delicious. It smells amazing. When I first got this last year from the Curvy, Nista, the Curvy Fashionista Style Expo, I was wearing it. My mom was telling me, what are you wearing? I smell it. It stayed in my clothes. I smelled it on my sheets. Smells so good. My friends was asking me, what am I wearing? I'm like, yo, I just rubbed my body with some bum bum cream. So good. And it also comes with hand lotion, a body gel um, cream, as well as uh, a body mist. I just had to share this with you guys. It's not technically like a fall item thing. It's just... So, now that that is done and over with, I can actually talk to you guys what I really want to talk to you about. So, the whole haul was just a premise to get you guys full attention. So, basically, it's going to be a quick update video. Uh, this video is probably already long. I hope it's not longer than 20 minutes. But, I'm going to get right to it. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Um, this is very serious. Nothing traumatic. It's just something uh, un unfortunate. Uh, something unfortunate. And that is... I will not be uploading or creating anything for Halloween this year. I know last year was a struggle. My computer died on me um, at the end of September and I already had stuff planned and I already brought stuff and I was creating stuff and it was a whole thing, me trying to get content up without a computer and I still pushed through. This year is not any of those reasons. It's just that I do honestly do not have time. I have so so much going on I don't have time to create any Halloween costumes like I haven't even been to a Joann's I, have, I haven't been near a Joann's like I can't get near it like I'm near I can't get near it I don't have time I don't have the time to go out to the one in the suburbs and the one that is in Chicago or a canal I was close to it last Saturday but I went to another fabric store because I was shopping with a client I have a client that is a bride and I'm helping customize a few things for her wedding and her wedding dress as well as styling her for all of the wedding activities. So that is has my hand full. I am teaching an after school program, a fashion club after school program at a school here in Chicago located on the west side. So that has my hands filled. I'm teaching that class twice a week and then you know of course creating content and a curriculum throughout the weeks. Um, I am really involved in my church. I am on the Young Adults um, leadership team. I'm on the prayer team. I also serve as a greeter. We have a huge conference coming up next week, so preparations for that. So yes, 
I have a lot going on. I'm not complaining about anything. God is blessing me tremendously, especially with the client and work with the school program. Like that was literally something that dropped into my lap. The girl, I only met her like twice. She was a teacher there. I met her through another friend that attended my church and she contacted me via Instagram and not like my brand Instagram. My personal Instagram was like, hey, are you interested in like hosting an after school program? You get complete autonomy. You get to create it whatever, you, which way you want to do. It's all up to you. We're just going to give you what you need. I'm like, who? Me? What? Huh? What? I had a full, like, identity crisis because I'm like, there is no way they need me. I'm not, I'm not prepared. I am not capable. But, like, I got past all that because the devil will try to play you. He will try to make you forget who you are. Why not me? So, anywho, I am teaching an after school program at a grade school. I have the 5th and the 6th graders on Monday and the 7th and 8th graders on Tuesdays. There were so many kids that signed up because I went to the, I actually went to the school and presented myself during their lunch periods. So, they got to see me and meet me and ask me questions before they get to sign up. And that made them really excited. Over 90 kids signed up, which is crazy. But they broke it down to a little bit more than 30. So, the... the, the the, the kids are split between grades on the day, on certain days. So, it's just amazing. So, I have, um, I'm trying to get stuff sponsored and get supplies and equipment for them. And I'm teaching them about fashion and style, showing them episodes of Project One Way. Some of these kids have never seen Project One Way. So, I'm just really, really excited. And this is amazing. So, with all that being said, I want to tell you guys, because of all the good things that's going on in my life right now, I just don't have time to actually take time to create some Halloween costumes. Now, mind you, I had some things planned. I was going to do something that ain't never been done before. Like, literally, never been done. A styler during my last live gave me this thought. And I was already, like, collecting inspiration and resource. I was, I ordered fabric. But I just don't have the time to get to a store to buy all, like, the little small little details that you can't really order online because you need to look at stuff and feel stuff and then like actually plan the time to create any of these costumes or looks like i had stuff planned for the igtv i was gonna come on in and give you guys a few simple looks and then i was gonna do the more elaborate looks on the u and the tube but i just don't have the time so i'm sorry salas we're gonna have to just celebrate halloween and just remember the days when nadia had time to create costumes what i need is an assistant that's what i need an assistant to take things and help me to do them so that I can just create the things and then somebody else could do all the editing and the fine tuning and all the other stuff. But anywho guys, I just wanted to come on here real quick, show you guys some little goodies that I've got over the past few weeks. Not too much as well as give you guys like an update as to what's going on in my life and in the life of Full Style because the after school program is an entity of Full Style Inc. Um, I put myself and my and the brand's name in front of that as well as I hope to take this into the future and like do more after school programs and do and more locations and more schools and ha hire people to do this. I mean like the, it, the opportunities are endless and God knows where this is going to go. Literally only God knows where is this going to go. So anyhow guys I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm so very excited. Um, I will be having another sewing class, but that's not going to happen until next year, the top of next year, um, because I just really don't know what I'm going to be able to do with this year, but I'm so excited. So, anywho, guys, I'm going to stop talking and reveling because I still have to edit this video, and I, um, yes, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so, for so much for just being loyal and sticking by and standing by and being patient and understanding when anytime I come on here and I say, guys, I feel some type of way or I can't do this or I can't do that, whatever. Thank you guys so very much for just your support. Hello to all our new stylers and subscribers. Welcome to the Full Style Inc. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Full Style Inc. As well as Twitter, as well as Facebook. Don't forget to show your support um, on Patreon. Um, I upload um, behind the scene content and special little bonus DIYs on there. Um, so your support is really, will really be helpful. Um, show your support. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for just being you and being there. I do this because of you guys. Um, but uh, life does 
get in the way sometimes. So, but anywho, guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Mm -hmm.